two offshore oil rig said co-workers, Chuck Woodion and Deb Juardalu, following their survival in the recent tragic incident that saw a Bristow Psychus Kies 76C plus helicopter crash into the lagoon in Owaronshoki, Lagos on Wednesday 12 August, 2015 appeared in the church of controversial Nigerian pastor T.B. Joshua to testify that it was God's hand that saved them from the unfortunate incident. Read via Nushel Mona, testifying before the Congregation of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Scoen, said it was morning water he had received at the church that was instrumental to his survival. According to the survivor, I never leave it anywhere I am going. It's always with me, along with my anointing sticker he explained. On that fateful day, before I left my room, I prayed that God would take charge, I thanked him for mercies, and then I sprinkled the morning water upon myself. While on board, there were no signs of trouble as the flight was going very smoothly. However, merely minutes away from arriving at Mutala Muhammad International Airport, Mia, tragedy struck. According to Onar, the chopper suddenly turned while still suspended on air. Everybody became confused, he said. We were shouting Jesus. The chopper was dangling up and down. I didn't even know when it fell inside the water. As the helicopter began descending steadily to the bottom of the lagoon, I was strapped heavily into my seat belt and could not move. Recounting further his ordeal, he said, I shouted, God of TB Joshua, save me. He added that his lungs were soon filled up with water. Ona also said what transpired next can only be termed supernatural. Staring death in the face, confused and struggling to free himself, he said he heard a voice speaking clearly to him. It's just as you are hearing me now. The voice said, your seat belt. I took my hand to the side of the seat belt and it became suddenly loose. The same voice came again and said, your life jacket. I took my hand to the side of the life jacket and it suddenly inflated. It now carried me up from down to the top of the sea. Ona solemnly narrated that the two passengers seated directly besides him were among those that died. Similarly, Delu stated that he was a regular visitor to the SCO and had administered morning water before entering the helicopter that day. Recounting his experience, he said, all that I saw was the helicopter take a sharp turn and then we were just plummeting. Moments before the crash, all I could remember was that I saw myself swimming. There is no way I could have come out of the helicopter without removing my seat belt but I was not the one 